When I was a kid, I saw society collapse. Things got very, very ugly very, very fast. I grew up in a war zone in the Middle East. There's no question in my mind that reality and nature is going to force an adjustment for us. We're going to have a crisis. If we're not um, willing to wake up and see the ways that we're living and how they're destructive to our planet, all of these things are going to add up to a collapse of one kind or another. When you work outside, you don't just watch the weather forecast, you watch what actually happens and you feel it. And it's always been a bit volatile. Colorado's always been a little bit unpredictable as far as the weather. But what we are seeing is a lot more of that. You can see that red building back there. That's where I first started farming when I was 10 years old. Uh, one of the things that I'm really concerned about is that late in the season, um, the snow is, is gone earlier and earlier. Uh, the snow melt is our main source of irrigation water. And there comes a point where if there isn't water late in the season, there's just certain things we're not planting, like corn, um, which has always been a, like a pretty much a backbone crop. And it doesn't, there's years when it's not doing very well. Hmm. <laughs> Um, uh, last year was really quite crazy and I didn't plant wheat at all last year because the soil was so dry and it ended up staying dry basically all the way till the spring. And it was like to the level where trees that had been there for a long, long time were starting to die. It really affects our decision making. And that's not just on this farm, but that's on the whole, in the whole water system. All up and down the Front Range, I visited some farms in San Luis Valley. They've had a lot of impact of changes in the water system there. We see farmers that, uh, yeah, that they, they begin to lose interest in farming because there's easier money to be made. Some farmers do make money from oil and gas, but um, it doesn't make them better farmers. Farmers are sometimes being encouraged to sell off their water rights for things like fracking or for other industrial uses. It's really short-sighted because a water supply that's clean and pure is forever. A paycheck that you got from polluting your groundwater with fracking fluids and groundwater. I studied groundwater engineering at the University of Colorado, and those are not things that you can clean up or take back. Um, those are not things that you want injected underground for a quick buck there is no safe level of some of these things. And um, the best thing is like, let's just not do that. It's, it's absolutely insane. We're a society that's like got our priorities way upside down. Water is the most precious resource and the most basic fundamental thing to our lives. Don't just crap in it. <laughs> crap would be better. <laughs> this needs to be a wake-up call for us. 
because our weather's changing. One of the things I see is that nature is so generous and is so good to us. And we've been basically abusing her for the entirety of human history. We are tied to the whole world, and so the decisions that some people make for a quick buck somewhere have an impact on everybody everywhere eventually, and it's really tragic.